to save, you will be amazed. With Couponing Crystal. Hello, lovely people. Coupon and Crystal here with an awesome, awesome deal at my local Food Lion. I want to show you guys how I paid 19 cents and I earned back $7.45. That's right. <laughs> I got five items. And let me tell you how I did it. I used the Food Lion Shop and Earn. If you are unfamiliar with the Food Lion Shop and Earn, that is a program that's also going with Food Lion's MVP program. You know, that's their loyalty card where you scan your card every time you shop. Where they got this awesome thing now to where every time you shop, you scan your MVP card once you sign up for the Shop and Earn program. Now, this is the very important thing is that the Shop and Earn program runs for the month. You activate it by signing up at foodline.com or you can download the Food Lion app, link your MVP card, and it is going to in turn track what you purchase, meaning it's going to keep track of what you purchase under the qualifying items. They have different categories and the categories are frozen, produce, meat and seafood, dairy, cookies, snacks, and soda and water. Under those categories, there are certain amounts that you spin up to and they will give you a reward. And how the reward works, it once it comes into effect on your card, then the very next time you shop, it's going to come off your purchase. That is awesome, lovely people. For Frozen, for instance, the category is $15. You spend $15 in qualifying items under the frozen category. On the app, you're actually able to click on the reward and it'll give you a detailed description for each one of what those qualifying things are. When you spend that, you're going to get $3. Well, for me, of course, I've already been using Shop and Earn and I had a $6 reward available in my wallet. Okay. So that means that I had $6 to shop with in Food Lion, but I also was very close to getting a reward in a couple of my categories. So we're about to be at the end of the month. Now, your categories will reset when the first of the month gets here. So I need to go ahead and spend my categories, get my categories, you know, pushed over to the reward area so I could get my reward before the month ends because it's going to reset. That's very important, lovely people. My sister and I, my coupon crew, Marianne, we learned that the hard way. <laughs> so I don't want you guys to make that mistake, all right? Let me tell you what my categories were. Now, the, there was two categories I was about to hit my reward in. My soda and my soda water juice category. I needed to spend $3.44 more. That spend 10 and get two. So I needed to spend $3.44 in order to earn my $2 reward. And then my other category was the meat and seafood category. I needed to spend it, the category spending amount is 20 and you earn three. Well, I was only, uh, let's see, 79 cent away from earning my $3 reward. So in a nutshell, for soda, water, and juice, I need to spend $3.44, stay with me. And then for meat and seafood, I need to spend 79 cent, right? Okay. So you know what I was going to do? I was going to use my $6 reward <laughs> to get my stuff to where I spent my $3.44 and I spent my 79 cent. And what better way to do that than to do that and use I bought a rebate. <laughs> Wonderful. Because I need to also do some rebates so I can get my levels and I bought them. So this is what I did. I don't know if you lovely people have been seeing people talk about the Chibani coupon at on Chibani.com, my sister told me about it. There is a coupon for a free thing of Chibani yogurt. So this yogurt happens to be on sale at Food Lion, five for five, so it's gonna ring up a dollar. But there is an I bought a rebate for a dollar and 20 cents. So I didn't pay anything for this yogurt in Food Line at all. I left out of the store paying absolutely nothing, but then the rebate gives me back a dollar and twenty cent on our bottom. Awesome.
awesome. Next, I told you I needed to get to my category in meat so I could get my reward back for my meat. Remember, my, I needed to get back my uh, $3 reward for meat. I needed to spend 79 cents. So this is what I did. I bought a little pack of honey ham, some Carolina Pride honey ham, and the meat was only 99 cents, and I needed to spend 79 cents. So that was enough to bump me on over in my category and generate my reward. The next thing, I needed to get $3.44 in juice. So what I decided to do, y'all know, I've got grandbabies coming and the one of the twins is going to have um, my grandbaby next, well, actually April. So the baby shower is the end of March. So there is a punch I always make for family events. And I use this juice right here, which is the V8 Splash. This is the mango peach and it is delicious. So this was on sale too for $4, okay? So I figured if I'm going to spend my reward to get my reward, I'm going to get something that I actually need. And there you go. I need this for the baby shower so I don't have to spend no cash. <laughs> so these were two for four. So that was well over my amount to generate my reward. Last but not least, lovely people, my fifth item because I've gotten one, two, three, four items. So this is my fifth item. This was the cup noodles very veggie i did this before i did it again my rebate on ibotta activated again these are 99 cent in my food lion but the rebate on ibotta is for a dollar so it is a one cent money maker <laughs> i am so excited to show you lovely people this because the shop and earn is awesome let me tell you what ended up happening what ended up happening was my $6 reward that I came in the store with for purchasing other things paid for these items, paid for these items, okay? And then it turned around and it generated me $5, a $5 reward. So I got $2 for one category, $3 for the other category. That is wonderful. So I made $5, but my rebates were $2.45. And how that is, is because I got a dollar for this, a dollar twenty for this, and then I got $0.25 cent for, you know, any any item, any receipt on Ibotta. So that's the reason why it was $2.45 plus the $5 reward shop and earn back on the full lion, making it a $7.45 moneymaker. Here is the receipt from Food Lion. There's the yogurt, the V8 splash, the V8 splash, the noodles, the lunch meat. There is the Chobani coupon coming off. There are the MVP savings, meaning 58 cent came off of the, the, the egg splash because it was on sale two for four. So it took off the 29 cent, 29 cent. And then there is 29 cent coming off the Chobani because the Chobani was on sale for a dollar, five for five. So it's a uh, five for five dollars. So it's a dollar each. Then there is my $6 shop and earn savings because that's what I shopped with. I already had a $6 reward, so I used that reward to generate another reward. There, I paid $0.19. Cent. Now, when he tried to, the cashier tried to scan my $1 coupon for the Chobani, because that's the only coupon that I used, it would not go through because my subtotal was so low and Food Line's not giving back um, money. So basically, in a nutshell, the manager had to come over and approve the coupon because there was nothing wrong with it. So that was fine. It went through and I paid 19 cents. Lovely people, I hope you all have a local food line in your area that you will be able to take advantage of this savings. You really need to do that. The other thing Food Lion is also offering you can score $5 for every $25 spent at Food Lion up to $40. How awesome is that? And guess what? 
this purchase right here applied to that because I hit the little button on my app to make it activate. So now I'm $21 away. <laughs> So $4 of what I spent here went towards that. That is wonderful. They are giving you dual ways to earn cash back. To me, it's a great way to incentivize you to shop at Food Lion because I really have because I'm going to tell you what, it's it's almost like rolling extra bucks at CBS. It it almost really is. The thing that I want you to make sure that you are aware of is the end of the month when you make sure that you watch your categories because I don't want you to be almost about to, like I was with the um, the meat and the seafood. I was like, this is some change away from earning my reward. If I hadn't have paid attention to that category, it would have been the end of the month. It would have reset and I would have lost I would have lost my reward. I wouldn't have gotten my reward because I didn't I didn't complete it before the end of the month. So make sure that you do that. Make sure that every month you go on your app and you make sure that your your offers are loaded, okay? Making sure that you go to your shop and earn and it loads it for the new month, okay? Make sure you do that. All right, lovely people, if you have any questions about Shop and Earn, make sure you leave it in the comments below of this video. If you all are taking advantage of the Shop and Earn, make sure you let me know that in the comment of this video. And remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, it was helpful for you. I hope it was. Remember, click to save and you will be amazed. Bye-bye.